guys welcome back today we're going to show you how to make a miniature desk this one is just all taped together because we want to make sure our parts matched so the very first thing you're going to need to do is go on my website and download the template it's free and then watch the tutorial make it and then share it with us okay so once you have the template and you have all your pieces cut out you want to start gluing it together we're going to work on the top half of the desk first and then what you want to do is you want to take the top back okay you should have two parts like this and we're going to glue them together let me put the glue on it okay just go ahead and glue it there then you want to take your two sides and then you are going to glue them along the side of it just apply some glue right along the edge. Here, use this one. Fine line applicators actually help. Make sure the top is even with the top and the front is even with the front and the back is even with the back. Okay, so make sure it's squared up when you're doing it. Just using the wooden square here that my dad made to make sure that it's square. You can okay, use so you any square to do it. Okay, so you want to glue the paper rack in an L shape like this. This is the left side of the paper holder, paper compartment or storage compartment. A lot of people have this on their desks and they put their files in it or phone books or little books or whatever. And I will tell you this, all of the wood that we're using for this desk is 1 8 inch with the exception of the part that goes in the center of this. And that is going to be 1 32nd. It's very, very thin. I'm not sure if you can see the difference between the two when I hold it up against that, but I mean it's just very very tiny you can use those popsicle sticks or tongue depressors whatever you want to call them yeah so yeah a popsicle stick tongue depressor anything like that will work and even um some cardboard if you're going to be painting it will work you just want thin strips inside there Okay, so now you want to go ahead and glue them. Use very little bit of glue so you don't have a mess. And you're going to put it right in the center of that. Alright, so now you're just going to be gluing them right inside of there. You want to try to get them as even as you possibly can between the two so that you have equal space. And then straighten them up. Okay, so I'm just using a thin scrap piece of wood as my spacers so that my pieces are evenly spaced. Okay, so at this point, that's what it should look like. And then when it's dry, you can take out your spacers, which are these two little strips of wood. Make sure not to glue them down though. All right, now you wanna go ahead and put some glue on the top and the side of that. Okay, so now you want to put glue here, here, and over here, and then you're going to put it right up in this corner. And then straighten it out. Okay, so just hold it there for a second for it to set up. Okay, so now you need to get the desktop piece, and then you have three legs and then you have a center support piece. Okay, 
First thing you're going to do is add your glue on the side. All right, apply your glue on the end of three of the leg supports. After that, you want to turn it up on its side and make it even right like that. Okay. Now, take your center support piece, add a thin bead of glue on three of the sides. Make sure it's not too much because it'll get messy if it is. Okay. And on the left side of the desk, you're going to insert it right there. Might want to put some tape on it to hold it until it sets up. Okay, so now you want to have glue on the top of that one and on the side of this one, and you want to attach it right there. At this point, you need to make sure this is square. Because if it's not, then your whole cabinet will be crooked when you go to do your drawer. So just make sure you stand it straight up and there's no gap in between there. All right, now you need to have the back and you need to glue two sides and the top. <clears throat> Using a piece of tape for support. You just move that. Re-square that up. Okay, so now you're going to take the support that goes inside and you are going to glue it right there. Okay, so the bottom should be even with the back piece here and then it should be even with the line that you drew allowing you to have space for your door so you can just kind of put that there to help momentarily after that then you want to add some glue To the side piece, which is another one of these. That's the door. This is the door, and I'm just going to tape this right now because this keeps moving. We can remove this tape when we go to install this door, just to kind of help keep this in place because it just does not want to stay without moving on me. Without waiting for everything to dry. <laughs> right. You can do this in stages and just wait for it to dry. Okay. So now we want to go ahead and put some glue right along this edge here and there. No, 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 no. That's the door. Oop, almost glued the door. Did you see that? <laughs> Gave my dad a heart attack. All right, so don't put it where the door is. Put it here, here, and here. And then on the top of here. You didn't put it on here. And then you're just going to attach this right in here. Wipe off any excess glue. Put some tape on there to hold it in place until it dries. And then put a piece across the top too. Looks like it warped a little bit. Just like that.
All right, so remove the door once you have the side on there, and then you're going to tape these two directly in between the bottom shelf here, or cabinet support, until it dries. And we're using masking tape. And again, everything in this is 1 8 inch, with the exception of this. You can use popsicle sticks or 1 32nd wood or cardboard. Okay, so for the door, you want to sand the edge round, completely round. Hopefully you can see that. Mark the center of it, and then you want to sand this off a little bit. And when you go to put it on here, you should have a space equally between the two. Okay, so tape it like that, and then you have space on both sides, leaving just a little bit more actually over here. That way your door has room to swivel. And then you also want to sand the inside of that side of the door. Okay, so now you want to put a stick pen in here and in here. And with this kind of door, you need to come over at least an eighth of an inch over. So it's not going to open up like a regular door hinge would on this one, but it will still open. All right, after you have that done, you wanna press them in. Be sure not to go that far. and then cut them off. Okay, then just press them down in there so you don't have a point, and then you won't feel anything on there. And it should still open up. Now you can use a stick pen for the handle and cut that off if you like. Just mark where you want the center to be and then stick it in there. All right, so then you can put the stick pen through the front of the door, pull it through. Cut it off. push it back through, put a little crazy glue on it, and then you'll have a handle to open and close your door. Okay, another thing you're gonna wanna do is put a stop here. So you wanna take a scrap piece of wood, it can be any scrap piece of wood, and you wanna glue it right on the inside of here. That way your door doesn't keep sliding inward. Okay, so you put the wood there, make it even with the front, press it down, and then let your door close against it like that. When it's closed like that completely, then you know you have it in the right spot. And then you want to press it again. And when it dries, you'll have a door stop, so your door won't keep going in all the way back. Okay, so for the last part of this desk is you want to glue the top. So you want to put some glue here and here. Make sure you have it even on both sides and even with the back. Set it on there. Put some tape on there to hold it until it's completely dry. And then it should look like this. Remove all the mask and tape, sand it really good, use some steel wool to finish it up, and then you can stain it or paint it.
Okay guys, thanks for watching and don't forget to follow Dollhouse Manager Madness and Tutorials.com. Also, check us out on Facebook, Dollhouse Manager Madness and Tutorials, and on YouTube. Like and subscribe to the channel because we post videos all the time. And leave a comment, question, or suggestion because we love hearing from you. And if you like Pinterest, we have tons of pens on there as well under Laurie Holden Heisler. Alright, thanks a lot. Have a great day.